So today I've got another new student, a uh, young pup, six months old. This is Dave. He's a flat coat. And he actually lives with Louis, the German Shepherd that I'm working with as well. So at six months old, Dave is now wanting to meet and greet everyone and every dog he sees. He's quite a big dog. So we're now getting to that stage where the owner's been a little more cautious, um, you know, with who he lets him interact with because some people, they don't like a big dog. Um, and sometimes you can't always tell that, you know what, he's just a six month old puppy. So it's really just about getting him a little bit more socialised, used to a few more dogs. Um, so it's not all quite so wonderfully exciting every time he sees a new dog. So today I've got Aquabani, the collie. He's come to see me today, which is nice. not seen him for a while. Um, he's got no issues. I worked with him last year, got him past all his issues. And, uh, and he just comes with me just as a little recap every now and then and a, a socialisation day, really with, with my lot. Um, obviously, this is Frank. So Frank's the guy with the speed, the guy that's going to play, and he'll play rough. Um, so this will teach Dave <laughs> the boundaries with play, and, uh, and it won't be on his terms. It will be on Frank's terms. Um, but at the same time, Frank's obedient enough to me if I tell him to settle down, to calm down a little bit, then he will do, because we don't want to be too rough with Dave, because he is just six months old. So it's important to remember their bones are still soft. So he's a big dog, but we really don't want to damage his joints. Um, which brings me on to the distance that you walk when you have a young dog that's going to be a larger breed. And really, you don't want to be doing a great distance. Um, you don't want them exerting themselves too much physically, because it can be really damaging. So it is important to get a good structure with the walk so that you're mentally stimulating them. So when they get home, they're not wired up with adrenaline and, uh, and they settle and they, they learn. Once the mind's that little bit calmer, then they can learn from you. But if they're very excitable and they're full of adrenaline and you say, oh, crikey, I just can't drain the energy, it's because you're not working on the mental part of it. If you don't work on the mental part, you'll never drain their energy. And physically, you'll end up doing too much with them. So uh, this is the first walk. This is the first time I'm have, I've had Dave on a, a day with me. So we've done some lead work, all three of them together, just to get that pack mentality. And, uh, and, and because he's a young pup, um, he's, you know, in his character, it tells me that he's, he's not going to, you know, go anywhere. He's, he's very gentle, actually, towards me. So even though the dogs are here, it is me. He's playing with them, but he'll keep looking back to me. And to begin with, when Frank was getting a little bit exuberant, Dave was coming straight back to me. So that still tells me he's an absolute baby. And when we have that insecurity... Now, with a baby, now is the time to have them off lead because they're not going to go too far. They're not brave enough. This way. This way. So this off lead bit that I'm on now is really just doing this way. Um, so although I'm talking on the phone at the moment, once the phone's not going, I don't speak. I don't talk. Keep my voice out of it completely. The only time I speak is when I say this way. So today is really about having him... Walking with dogs, getting used to that. We're going to meet other dogs on the walk. So we're going to calm down with that massive excitement when we see another dog. So we're going to work on that. We're also going to work on the recall, um, which is basically saying this way. And 